Hey everyone, today joining me is Tharnveer Johal, who is the founder and CEO of Tavolo, an AI-driven content creation and automated marketing platform for small business owners. Tharn started Tavolo to help support local businesses by enabling operators to leverage software to increase their revenue and automate key components of their marketing. Taryn graduated in 2021 from the University of Minnesota's Carlson School of Management with a BSB in Entrepreneurial Management and marketing alongside a minor in computer science. And he was raised in Queens, New York and Fargo, North Dakota, North Dakota, and is the proud child of immigrants from Punjab. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and dive right into the questions. So first, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience at the University of Minnesota. Yeah. So, um, you know, like you mentioned, um, originally from New York, but uh, spent my middle and high school years in in North Dakota. Um, while I was in high school uh, in in Fargo, uh, I found out about you know the Carlson School of Management. Um, you know it's a you know pretty excellent undergraduate uh, business school. So uh, ended up applying during my senior year uh, when I was in high school and ended up, ended up getting accepted. Um, and that's what kind of brought me to the University of Minnesota. Um, so uh, started started college in in 2017. Um, and graduated in 2021. But during my experience, uh, I really kind of connected with kind of the university and uh, was really kind of impressed by the resources that I was given uh, as an as an undergraduate student, where uh, is actually where I ended up starting uh, uh, my company, Tablo. Um, but, uh, you know, made made some so many kind of like lifelong friends along the way, joined so many, uh, you know, student organizations that were uh, associated with university, um, started doing some early volunteer work, uh, with, uh, you know, the university of Minnesota as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what, what, uh, brought me over to the, to the twin cities and, um, still live in the twin cities. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my experience at the university. Awesome. So that goes right into my next question. You yep. started talking about a little bit, how did you get started volunteering and why do you volunteer with the university of Minnesota? Yes, I would say my earliest volunteering was with uh, during my freshman year. Actually, I joined um, a, a student organization uh, that was running uh, the local TEDx conference for the University of Minnesota. So at the time, it was TEDx UMN, um, and we basically got speakers from uh, all over the country. Actually, that were coming to uh, the McNamara Alumni Center for the TEDx conference. Um, I was, uh, you know, the the lead when it came to fundraising for. Uh, the organization, but I also was the MC of of all the TEDxes that I was a part of as well. So um, that was kind of my earliest experience. We ended up, you know, creating a lot of dialogue uh, and conversation uh, within uh, within the, the the university, which was ultimately what our goal was as students that were running the program. Um, and then I also joined an organization called Jusba, um, which is a Bollywood, Bollywood fusion dance competition. I was. Um, I was a liaison for uh, for the organization, and basically, what uh, the goal of that organization is is to host this dance competition to fundraise money for a um, for a nonprofit organization uh, called Women in Need. Um, so, donates money to an organization in India that helps supports women, um, and that's where I kind of got my earliest experiences. Um, and then I graduated in 2021, um, and then in 2023 is when I ended up. Uh, hearing about uh, potentially supporting the Alumni Association. Um, so ended up getting, getting connected with uh, the U of M Alumni Association and um, was just really excited to kind of give back to a university that gave me so much opportunity uh, for growth um, and made so many kind of lifelong uh, connections for me. Awesome. And then I think just about 2024 is actually coming up next week. So Yep, next Saturday. <laughs> Uh, so next question, uh, what's your favorite thing or most memorable experience while you've been volunteering with the University of Minnesota? I would say um, my most memorable moment um, was my first year uh, at TEDx. Um, mm -hmm. It was my, at the time I was 18, um, just kind of fresh uh, in the Twin Cities. Uh, and I was just really excited about, you know, kind of the unique opportunity that TEDx kind of presented when it came to, you know, getting people involved 
uh, in a kind of a different capacity with the university. We ended up getting so many professors to come speak, talk about like research that they were part that they were part of, um, talk about kind of like major economic things that the world was facing, um, you know, issues that were related to kind of just, you know, uh, the world as a whole, society as a whole. And I think it was just a really unique perspective that I got from thought leaders that were connected with the university um, and also people that were uh, are around the entire world. So people came from kind of different walks of life and experienced so many different things. And I think that was a really kind of eye-opening experience uh, for myself and for uh, the fellow alumni who were also a, a part of the organization at the time. Um, and yeah, I think that it was a super kind of memorable moment, I think, especially, you know, as a teenager, being able to kind of get that knowledge and get that, um, get those insights from people who um, have come from different backgrounds and have those experiences that you don't have, it kind of really kind of broadens your, your worldview. And I think that that was a huge kind of, uh, you know, stepping stone for, you know, myself just as like, as a, as a human being and as a person. And, um, you know, I think that was probably my most memorable, uh, experience as a volunteer. Awesome. And then why would you encourage someone to volunteer if they're thinking about it? I think that for me, I think my, uh, the big, biggest reason I think I would encourage someone to volunteer is that, um, you know, giving back to a community that has supported you um, can lead to just so much value uh, for yourself, right? I think that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it kind of reengages you in terms of different kind of connections that you can make. I feel like when I started, you know, you know, for example, volunteering in Jazba, I ended up connecting with so many people that ended up becoming my my lifelong friends um, and, you know, continue to stay connected with them to this day. Um, and then especially with, you know, volunteering with the Alumni Association, um, I feel like it's almost like reignited my uh, passion for supporting the University of Minnesota, right? I feel like once I graduated, um, a lot of my connection ended up just kind of stopping, right? And mm -hmm. uh, being a part of the Alumni Association kind of brought me back to um, you know, what I felt like made the University of Minnesota so powerful and impactful to myself and my life and my career. Uh, and I feel like uh, it was almost like fulfilling as well to for me to give back to something that has provided, you know, so much value to me. Um, and then my my siblings also graduated from the University of Minnesota as well. So um, we all ended up being in college at the same time, which was a really, really fun experience as well. We were all on campus together. Um, and I think they would say the same thing, um, in terms of like their experiences as well. So we were just very grateful and very thankful for, um, what we were able to accomplish while we were there. And I think that it was a huge stepping stone for what we could become later on. So I feel like it's only right for us to give back to current students, um, and alumni who've also kind of gone through, uh, their education at, at, at the U of M. Um, and yeah, we just want to be, be supportive of that. Awesome. Well, thank you for all you do for the Alumni Association and alumni in general. And thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Neil.